Hey bosses, do you wonder how long does it take to design a Pinterest pin? How long should I be spending designing pins for my blog posts or even my products? What are the best pin creation tools? There are so many questions out there, especially with so much talk about fresh pins. We're all trying to keep our accounts flooded with beautiful, newly designed Pinterest pins. And we're wondering, how much time are you spending designing Pinterest pins? How much time should I be spending? These are questions that we have. So I decided that I was going to figure it out. So I did an experiment on how long it takes to design Pinterest pins using the top pin creation tools. I put them to the test. But before we get to my results, a bit of the fine print. I should let you know, this video is graciously sponsored by Tailwind. Thank you, Tailwind, for showing your support for this content creator. I greatly appreciate you. So you should know that the links below to use these amazing pin design tools like Tailwind Create is an affiliate link. That means when you click on my link, I'll earn a commission at no cost to you. So back to my video. In this video, I'm putting the top pin creation tools to the test. I set the timer, I got designing, and I wanted to know which was the fastest way to design Pinterest pins. So if you love pin design tips, be sure to like this video and let me know down below which pin design tool you're using. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I've got new videos just like this one coming your way each and every week. So before I break down my experiment, my results and some takeaways with you, I just want to give you my backstory. I've been using Pinterest for about four years now. Over that time, I've used just about everything to design Pinterest pins. My day one has always been Adobe Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop literally for 20 years. That's where I started designing Pinterest pins. Then pretty recently, I'd say about six months ago, I started using Canva and then Tailwind came out with Tailwind Create which is automation template driven, you know, Pinterest pin design tool that promises to help us save time designing pins. So over that time, I've been using three of those. I pay for all three Tailwind with all of my Tailwind credit. And I wanted to figure out, okay, going forward, what is the best tool to design? What's gonna save me the most time? Okay, so let me lay out the experiment for you. I have three blog posts, and I designed five pins using Tailwind Create, Canva, and Adobe Photoshop. So I ran the experiment three times because I wanted to take the average. I didn't want to just, you know, take one blog post and design pins, you know, using three different tools in one order and call it quits. No. So each time I ran it for a blog post, I did it in a different order to compensate for any time increases. Because obviously, the more you design pins, the faster you're going to get at it. So in the first experiment, for example, I used Photoshop first, then I used Canva, then I used Tailwind Create. So I want you to know for this experiment, I focused on standard pins for one reason. Yes, you can design video pins, you can design collage pins or story pins. And, and the reason I focus on standard pins is that although, yes, video pins are great, story pins are great, at the end of the day, I have found that the best pins that still get clicks to this day are those single image pins. And a lot of the other styles of pins, they take more time to design. It's going to take you longer to design a video pin than a standard image pin. It's going to take you longer to design a story pin than a single standard image pin. Yet at the end of the day, those types of pins are going to give you less outbound clicks. So you've always got to think about that. The time you're spending designing versus what are you actually getting in return? So when we're designing Pinterest pins, the basics for you, you should at least design five different styles of pins, five pins for one piece of content. And there's a few reasons for that. Everyone has different tastes. So by designing multiple styles of pins, you're increasing the odds of getting the click. 
For example, a lighter style pin might be attractive to one person, but a darker style pin or a black and white pin might be enticing to another person. Obviously, you're staying within your branding palette. That means you're using your colors of your brand, your fonts, and types of images that make sense for your brand. But it, within your palette, you can still have a diversity of pins. So let's talk about the results of my experiment. So number one, I used Photoshop. Okay, so the three times I ran this experiment, the first time it took 13 minutes and 45 seconds to design five pins. The second time, 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Third time, 10 and a half minutes. So on average, that was 11 minutes and 51 seconds to design five pins using Photoshop. So some of the cons of using Photoshop is that I had to, as you can see, like get my images from a third party site. So Photoshop does not have a service where the images, you can access them from within the platform. That was what took a lot of time. I had to download those images and then import them into Photoshop. And sometimes the images wouldn't work with the templates so I have to go back and find new images. One of the pros of using Photoshop, however, is that you can do more intricate designs. But I have found over the last four years that it's not always the fancy pin that gets the click. It's the most simplest design that gets the click. So that was my experiment for Photoshop, 11 minutes and 51 seconds on average to design five pins. Okay, so the second platform that I am used and tested was Tailwind Create. And it's actually hilarious because I use this, I told you, I shifted up the experiment and every time I, it took me to design five pins was exactly six minutes. It's, it's hilarious because almost every time that I did it, there was another reason kind of why I was slow. Like maybe the first time I was a bit slow choosing images. The second time I was a bit slow, you know, um, playing around with the designs, but every time it equaled six minutes on the dot. So whatever that's about. So Tailwind Create, six minutes to design five separate pins. So some of the pros of using Tailwind Create is honestly, it's a huge time save because you choose your images first, you put in your link, you can even pull images from your site. So if you're a lifestyle blogger, um, a recipe blogger, you have some type of content, which is really heavy travel blogger on your own unique content, you can just pull it right from your site. The other thing is that you can just easily use your favorite designs. And the other thing that I love, which was really a time save. So for example, with Photoshop, a time suck was exporting each and every file by itself. But here is just one click go schedule. I didn't even have to download because I use Tailwind as my scheduler. So I would just say that another, the one con of Tailwind Create is that it's a new platform. Okay, so Tailwind Create, six minutes to design five separate pins. And the third platform that I tested was Canva. So the first time it took eight and a half minutes to design five pins, second time, seven minutes, 10 seconds, third time, eight minutes and 20 seconds. So on average, that equaled eight minutes. So I would say that the cons of using Canva was choosing a new image for every pin. So while using create, I just chose all the images to begin with. So that's similar issue to using Photoshop, but unlike Photoshop, I didn't have to use a third party platform. So Canva has images built in. So, and also downloading takes a bit of time. If you're gonna wanna then have to upload those pins to a platform like Tailwind to schedule, remember you have to download those images. So who is the winner? Okay, so if we're judging on terms of time, and saving time because when we're talking about Pinterest, Pinterest is a huge time suck. Let's be honest. A lot of us waste time or do things we don't need to or co complicate. We could spend an hour being very picky about designing five pins when you don't need to. So to me, when it's coming down to best on time, best for scheduling, best for saving time, it's obviously Tailwind Create is the winner 
for me. I love using it. I love how, especially if you're someone who maybe you feel like, oh, I'm so not a graphic designer. And that's totally a relatable feeling. You know, if you struggle with coming up with your own templates and when it comes to Pinterest, it is about having that originality, that differentiating factor from other people, not using the templates that everyone else is using, tail and create because it has so many built-in templates, because there are so many ways, like I've been designing pins for four years and sometimes the designs that they come up with, I'm like, I never even thought about making a pin look like this and there I have it. So to me, especially the big save is not having to download and upload. I can just hit go schedule and it's right there with the links and I'm ready to go. Just need to put in my titles and my descriptions. I'm a person who loves saving time because I've got so much to do. So if you want to save time and you want to design five pins per post in six minutes or even five minutes, I did a whole video about that. Personally, I enjoy setting a timer and limiting how much time I'm spending designing. And you can come up with beautiful designs. They're already there for you. You can just cycle through your images, cycle through your brand colors. So I'm a huge fan of Tailwind Create. It's just a coincidence that, you know, they're today's sponsor. Thank you, Tailwind. But like I said, I use all of these platforms. Um, I'm a fan of each and every one of them. But when I'm talking about creating my pins and saving time and having enough time to design enough pins for all of my content, I publish two new blog posts a week. Time adds up. You don't need to spend that much time on designing fresh pins. It doesn't have to be stressful. It doesn't have to be time consuming at all. And I don't want to be spending all my time designing pins, even though I love it. I love designing pins. This is a really fun experiment. So comment down below. Let me know how much time do you spend designing Pinterest pins? Have you tested out all of these platforms and what's your favorite? I've told you what the number one is in terms of saving time, in terms of choosing images, having a plethora of templates and also saving time on exporting. So be sure to like this video and comment letting me know. And don't forget to subscribe because I've got more fun videos all about Pinterest coming your way. So this was Natalie Bardo and I'm super happy to be your Pinterest coach.